No words can express the sense of loss we feel as a result of this terrible tragedy. He had a lifetime of opportunity ahead of him. As educators, we are to blame for ignoring his silent calls for help. We lost him to violence before we had a chance to help him realize his true potential. Forgive us. Forgive us for our negligence. Will this speech ever end? I don't even know who this Aragaki guy was. I heard he never came to school. Probably just some punk. Anyway, I gotta get home. I have to study for my mock exam. Hey, you guys know who Aragaki is? Wait, you're not seniors, so how would you know? Anyway, can you believe this? Scary, huh? Huh? Dang, I was just asking. Shut up. Huh? What are you doing? I said shut up! Iori, sit down. <sighs> I'll never hear the end of this. <laughs> Just ignore them, Junpei. Hey, have you seen Akihiko Senpai today? He was absent this morning. I wonder if he'll show up at all. I hope he's okay. Can I talk to you for a moment? When you get back today, please meet me in the lounge. You know what it's regarding. Yeah. I don't expect you to have collected your thoughts. In fact, I'm still at a loss myself. I'll see you then. It's about Ken, huh? <sighs> this will be a fun meeting. Yo. I had the usual for lunch. Ramen tastes a lot better when you're cutting class. Make sure you invite me next time. Say something, will ya? Why are you always like that? You're so stubborn. Put yourself in my shoes for a change. You think it's the other way around, huh? I guess you're right. I was too obsessed with power. Ever since I lost Miki, that's all I've cared about. I thought that if I was strong enough, I could protect anyone. But I was wrong. And now you're gone too. I'm such an idiot. In battle, there's always a chance of dying. I knew that. But... I was so focused on fighting that I didn't notice anything else. It didn't matter how tough I was. Look what happened! <laughs> yeah, I know. 
trying won't change anything, will it? All right, Shinji. You watch from there with Miki. I still have things to do, right? I know that much. I can't carry this guilt forever. I'm getting tired of it. You all know the reason we're gathered here. We need to discuss how to deal with Amada. I've already consulted the chairman. I guess bring Amada here. Understood. It's my fault. When Shinjiro Senpai told me he'd be late, I thought it was strange, but I said nothing. If only I'd listened to my intuition. Don't be so hard on yourself, Fuka. It's not your fault. If anyone should have realized it, it should have been me. I knew this wasn't a game. But I never thought it'd end up like this. There's no point dwelling on the past. Shinji's last words were, this is how it should be. He was a hell of a guy. He even faced death head on. That's why from this day forward, I'll face things head on too. That's cool, man. Senpai. Hmm. Allow me to report. Amada-san is not in his room. He's not? There are indications that the window has been pried open. Ken-kun! Wait, Fuka, do you know where he is? Well, no. But we can't just let him go off on his own, right? So, where do you plan on looking? I don't know, but we have to find him. He must feel so alone. Fuka. You of all people should understand. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll let Ken do what he wants. Bringing him back won't change anything, and we can't keep treating him like a kid. Akihiko. It's his choice. He's the only one who can decide how he's gonna live his life. The same goes for all of us. You look half dead. What are you doing here? When mom died protecting me, no one would believe the real reason for her death. To this day, it's still on file as an unexplained accident. That's why I wanted to make it clear. I thought that's what she would have wanted. Maybe then she'd finally be at peace. They said he died by some violent crime, right? No one knows the truth. Just like with Mom. And once again, I'll be left behind. The dead are never coming back. You have to accept that. You're on your own now. I'm not here to drag you back. 
You can stay in this place until you die, if that's what you want. But if you still have the will to fight, then come back and stand on your own two feet. He's right. I've known it all along. I've just been lying to myself. I was consumed by hatred. I couldn't face the thought of being alone. But that's exactly what happened. All this time, I've just been running away. Son, I'll see it through to the end. I'll be okay now, Mom. It's already been a day. Yes, it has. So, uh, where's Akihiko-san? He said to leave Cancun alone, but I don't know. Maybe we should look for him. What's your opinion? I can't wait any longer. I'm going right now to... Cancun! <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. I was so worried. You were? Amada, are you able to fight? Yes. I, I won't run off again. Are you sure? I'm positive. It's all right. We can trust him. Jeez, don't make us worry like that, okay? All right. I'll talk to the chairman. Get some rest. tonight can you believe it's already autumn it'll be winter before you know it you seem tired did something happen is that so in this world people die every day until recently, this was the same to me as the blowing of the wind. But now I see things differently. For the first time, I have a friend. Lately, I've become more certain of something. You know the end I've spoken of? Some people refer to it as the fall, but regardless, it's drawing near. Don't you sense it? We are kindred spirits, you and I. So why is it that only I can remember? This is a heart-rending matter. Is my existence something you are unable to accept? Forgive me if I have said anything peculiar today. Perhaps it is the change of seasons. Of course, our friendship remains steadfast. Well, I shall bid you farewell for now. 
Good night. Ah, okay, class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Just because you're not taking a literature class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you listening to me? What's wrong, Luca? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. Tell me what's bothering you. It's about Aragaki Senpai. Oh, pretty shocking, huh? Never seen him at school, but I've seen him around town. I wonder if he really did get caught up in some kind of crime. Some things you can never get back. I know that from all the things that have happened with my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question. But is it okay for me to go on like this? Parents, huh? I can relate to that. But you'll be okay, right? Natsuki, what are you waiting for? Come on up. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Don't you want to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? I know it hasn't been that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'll remember each and every one of you, even after I transfer. Thank you. How's that? Transfer? What? You're a weird one, you know? The biggest bitch in the school is leaving, and you feel sorry for her. You were transferring? And you didn't say anything? It's not like telling you would have changed anything. Why make us both depressed? Anyway, my dad's pretty sick. And they say it'll take some time for him to recover. And we don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay here. You know, I still think you're crazy for being friends with someone like me. But, like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living at home. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. Matsuki-chan. But, Fuka, your house is nearby and your parents are pretty normal. So why'd you move? Huh? Well, um... If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. But if it's something that you and your folks can work out, then do it while you have the chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think that every day was just the same. And I'm only saying this because it's you. But you don't get any second chances in life. If you accept the way things are, then they'll never change. This is the last time I'll see this view. Huh. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... Guess this is goodbye. No! <laughs> it's okay, everything will be all right. Come on, don't give me that look. What? Hey, I'm not helpless, you know. I've changed a lot since I met you. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want now. So, I hope you do the same. What I really want... I used to try and please everyone. 
I was afraid of not being liked, so I did my best to fit in. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> that is so like you, Fuka. Well, I say, if they don't accept you for who you are, then screw them. But I like you, even if you don't like yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, better get going. Natsuki-chan! Natsuki-chan. Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. It all makes sense now. I've always been so worried about how others are feeling. That's why my power allows me to stay connected with them. I guess there is something I want, after all. It makes me happy to see everyone else happy, too. So, I want us all to remain friends. The power to connect people, even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. Why? Did something happen? It is surprising to find you on the rooftop. Ah, uh, we were just wondering what you were up to. Everything's okay now. I've made up my mind. I'll do as much as I can with my power. For my sake, as well as the sake of others. Okay... <laughs> Sorry, I guess that was sort of random, wasn't it? Uh, are you sure you're alright? Oh, sorry. No one was here, so I figured it'd be okay. It's rare for you to be here. Is it for Archery Club? Yes, the teacher asked for a report. I see. Then you must be busy. Um, not really. At least not compared to you. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Yes? Senpai, why did you decide to fight? Well, I... I guess you could say it's my way of atoning for the past. I see. Well, in my case, I don't really have a reason anymore, if I'm being honest. I know the whole story about my father now. But I was thinking maybe I could erase the mistakes he left behind. I guess I should have thought about this earlier, huh? Why didn't I question myself sooner? What's done is done. But it seems like everyone has their own reason for fighting. In the end, defeating the shadows is all that really matters, isn't it? What are you trying to say? I'm not exactly sure. It'll all be over after the next full moon, 
but I'll probably still be trying to figure it out. Maybe so. But at least then we'll be able to return to a normal school life. The student council members will be here soon. If you want to talk later, let me know. No, that's okay. Thanks for listening. Good evening. It'll be a full moon again in just another week. At last, the twelfth one. Are you ready? Regardless of how long it's been, a lot has happened, hasn't it? But it's a bit soon to be reminiscing. How about I come see you once it's over? Be careful now. Well, tomorrow will be our last operation. Yeah. We've been through a lot this last six months. Don't you think? Yeah, huh? Well, it was a lot better than doing nothing, right? Besides, we made some new friends. Yeah, I guess. Well, it's all been worth it if you ask me. It's been two and a half years since I got this power. And you don't hear me complaining. Sonata-san. <laughs> two and a half years is a long time. Oh, wait. For I guess, it's been even longer, huh? I was asleep for much of the time, so I have not been in operation for very long. How about you, Mitsuru-senpai? You started before Akihiko-san, right? Me? Yes, it was just me at first. Of course, back then, seas didn't exist, and this was just a regular dorm. Did the chairman recruit you? No. I've been aware of the dark hour since I was a child. One time, my father's research team was attacked by shadows. That's when I awakened to my persona, when I witnessed the incident. That's what happened? It seems I was the first. If that had never happened, Perhaps none of you would have to bear this terrible burden. Senpai. It would have happened to someone eventually. Besides, the enemy can't just be ignored. <laughs> I suppose that's true. I found it. It's currently at the south end of the Moonlight Bridge. The twelfth and final shadow. Hmm. This is it. And as we expected, there are two Persona users nearby. Strega. They know this is their last chance. Even though we were expecting this, we should still be careful. Those bastards. <laughs> Saves us the trouble of looking for him. You've all done a fine job up to this point. This will be our last operation. Let's all come back safely. You know the significance of today. Do you not? You claim you hunt the shadows to prevent the disaster they bring. Yet countless lives are lost each day without their intervention. The power we wield 
is not itself evil. You cannot deny that. So, why don't you just admit it? You do not wish to eliminate the Dark Hour. You are merely deceiving yourselves. You are indeed foolish children. Erasing the Dark Hour is the same as erasing yourselves. Is even that beyond your comprehension? As I believed, our goals are irreconcilable. Jin. Forget these maggots. Fate shall decide who will prevail. Come. You are serious! Fight hard! shall be judged. Death is fool. There's no cure for stupidity. Here's you have more than just luck on your side. So be it. Go. How disgraceful. this. It's my turn! I'm worried about Akihiko Senpai! Imagine that your power would rival ours. Astonishing. Perhaps I misjudged your strength. 
Shit! These guys are tougher than I thought. It's my turn! So, this is the power of those whose persona awakened naturally. Different than ours? Different. For us, it's not that simple. It has to be forced out. Didn't your pal tell you? So it was you who was giving Shinji those pills. You guys don't have the slightest clue what will happen if the Dark Hour disappears, do you? It won't matter for normal people, since they don't remember anything anyway. But for us... That's enough. Now then... Ordinarily, we'd withdraw. But not tonight. This body... As ephemeral as it is... It is worthless without my power. Therefore, only one choice remains. I shall prove my existence here and now. What are you doing? Don't be so reckless. Jin? Sorry, but those are your words, not mine. You win. Looks like you'll get your wish. Go do what you came for. Wait! I'd rather die than surrender to you. Take a good look. This is how we live.
They jumped. What the hell were they thinking? They chose their own fate. Don't let it phase you. The operation has only begun. Our true adversary is waiting. Focus on that, all right? This is it. I'll do everything in my power to help you. Just promise me that you'll be careful. your main target, but it's out of your attack range. Give me a minute. I'll see what I can find out. Another shadow! Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Akihiko-senpai, 
Electricity doesn't seem to work on it.
use this. Is it over? Operation completed, or should I say, mission complete. Yes, it's finally over. I believe a celebration is in order. What will be our victory cheer? One, two, three. Can we go home now? <laughs> what was that? So, uh, Senpai, you're gonna throw us a party tomorrow, right? <sighs> you don't waste any time, do you? Well, I suppose I could arrange for it. Ooh, in that case, how about sushi? Sushi, huh? It's been a while. Well, I've got dibs on the halibut and sea urchin. Oh, then I call the fatty tuna. Um, we're divvying it up already? In that case, save me the salmon roe. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You can't do that. I reserve the shrimp, squid, scallops, and sea eel. <laughs> Hey, that's not fair! You don't even eat! You should all be ashamed of yourselves, fighting over sushi. Senpai, please order tamago for me. They say you can tell a chef's skill by how he prepares eggs. Uh, um, how old are you again? Okay, okay, I'll have the very best delivered tomorrow. For real? Oh, man, it's great to be alive. Don't get too excited, Junpei. You're getting the leftovers. What? Well, b b but it was my idea in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> I
I guess it's time to say goodbye to the dark hour. Even though it seemed like a curse, for some reason I'm reluctant to let it go. Yeah. We really did it, didn't we? Yes. We saved the world, even if no one knows it. Good morning. This is the first time we've talked during the daytime. Nice weather, isn't it? This is indeed a new day. For both of us. All the fragments of my memory, they've finally come together. I now know my role clearly. The time has come. As difficult as it may be, I must tell you something. I am afraid this is goodbye. I want you to know, for me, our friendship was a miracle. But miracles don't last forever. If only they did. Maybe you're right. Even if there was such a thing as eternity, how would we ever know? It would be the same as if it didn't exist. I shall treasure our conversations always. Even if today is the end, the bond between us can never be severed. Remember that. It was fun while it lasted. Farewell. Nice spread. Oh, the slices are huge! Man, I'm starving. Can we eat? Hey, where are Aiga's son and Ikutsuki son? Ah, uh, he took her to the lab for a tune up or something. He said they'd join us later. <laughs> the chairman just can't stay away from the lab, can he? That must be my father. We've been waiting for you. So, it's over at last, huh? Yes. Congratulations, everyone done well. There are no words to express my gratitude. Though you will never receive the recognition you deserve, it is undoubtedly a monumental achievement. Thank you. To you, I owe a special thanks for lending us your power until the very end. No big deal. The Twelve Shadows that were the cause of all our troubles have been destroyed thanks to your efforts. You needn't bear this burden any longer. You deserve a chance to experience the joys of youth. The specialized extracurricular execution squad will be dissolved as of midnight tonight. No longer must you put your lives on the line in battle. Tomorrow, you can triumphantly return to a normal school life. Is something the matter? Oh, it's nothing. All right, everyone. It's time to celebrate. Your feast awaits you. There is no need to hold back. Eat as much as you'd like. Sweet! 
I've been waiting for you to say that. We all take a picture. Actually, I tried to take one last night. But I forgot it wouldn't work during the dark hour. You mean you brought a camera with you into battle? Well, it was our last battle after all. Hey, uh, could you take our picture? I feel like such a tourist. But I have to admit, I kinda want a picture too. Oh wait, Kuzuki's son and Agus aren't here. I guess we'll have to take another one later. All right, everyone get together. Is everyone ready? You bet. Knock it off. Oh. Come on, quit fooling around, Junpei. Uh, hey, knock it off, will ya? Tell me you're full already. Are you kidding? I'm stuffed. <laughs> me too. Ugh, I couldn't eat another bite. How about you, senpai? I'm good for now. All right. Oh, hey, hungry boy? Dog raw fish, you'll make him sick. I wonder what's taking those two so long. It's almost midnight. We ended the dark hour. Senpai, what's going on? I don't know. Apparently, I was right to have my doubts. Yeah, something didn't feel right. Hmm. No way. Hey, do you hear that? It sounds like a bell, but where's it coming from? Where is Ikutsuki? Well, why is he late? He's got Igus with him, doesn't he? Mitsuru. Everyone, prepare for battle. We're heading for Tartarus. Um, to do what? I don't know, but that's where the sound is coming from. We have to find out what's going on. Ikutsuki-san! I guess? Why are you here? She is here merely to fulfill her role as a weapon. Huh? Ikutsuki-san, what's this all about? 
You said the Dark Hour and Tartarus would disappear if we defeated the Twelve Shadows. That's why we fought so hard. But now... What is your intention? It was all a lie, wasn't it? You knew from the beginning that the Dark Hour wouldn't disappear. Excellent deduction, Mitsuru. Unfortunately, your realization has come too late. No. You tricked us? Everything is as I planned. It is not unexpected that the Dark Hour and Tartarus remain. In fact, I never intended for you to rid the world of them. Quite... What do you mean? The Twelve Shadows were parts of a whole. They were destined to be reunited. And that was accomplished in no small part, thanks to your efforts. Soon, death, the Almighty, shall arise and bring forth the fall. Death? What are you talking about? The end of all shall come and free this world from despair. The death of everything, but also the beginning. What is he saying? Is he out of his mind? Ten years ago, I too was a scientist for the project we've spoken of. The experiment went awry, but that is not why the Dark Hour and Tartarus were born. They manifested as a result of harvesting the Shadow's power, just as the experiment was designed to do. That is why your grandfather gathered so many shadows, to bring about the fall. That can't be. People have filled the world, yet turned it into a void. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. According to the prophecy, the fall will be orchestrated by the prince. And once the prince has delivered us all, he shall rule the new world as king. The man who tried it ten years ago failed, but I will not. I shall succeed. Man, he's totally lost it. I apologize for deceiving you. But this was for your sake as well. If you follow me for just a little while longer, you too will find salvation. You call that salvation? I have a question for you. Yes? In the video from my father, he said to defeat the shadows. Was that a lie too? Ah. He did record that himself. Of course, I had to make some modifications. You doctored it? I corrected it. Your father was a superb scientist. He may not have known it, but I truly respected him. While others focused on the Shadow's abilities, he explored much more important things. But unfortunately, he could not comprehend the magnificent potential of the fall. What? He left that recording at the expense of his life. It would seem so. But it did prove rather useful. So I'm sure he's happy. So you were behind it all? You used both me and my father! Used is such an ugly word. It was for the sake of the world. So how could it be wrong? Our role is to correct the mistakes of the past. And we intend to do just that. Hey, wait! Ah, <sighs> how disappointing. I had hoped you would see the light. But you are just children after all. 
I suppose it can't be helped. Igus, the time has come for you to fulfill your role. Capture them and prepare them to be sacrificed. Understood. What is going on here? What the hell? What is this? <gasps> Father! Yakutsky, what is the meaning of this? It is just as it appears. They are to be sacrifices, harbingers of the fall. The arrangements are complete. The prophecy shall be fulfilled. What? You son of a bitch! I'm gonna rip your head off! <gasps> you traitor. Are you insane? Of course not. You know your father was an unlucky man. Even you, his son. After all this time, do not understand his vision. My father was wrong. Death is a deliverance. That is not an ideology anyone should ever embrace. Fool! You are but a nuisance now. Igus! Wait! Please, Igus, no! <laughs> What are you doing, I guess? I am Ugh. ten years. I've wasted ten long years. I'm not like your father. I won't make any exceptions. I guess we will end this. Execute the sacrifices now. I guess! Damn it, snap out of it! <sighs> Finish them, I guess! Effective machine! I'll do it myself. What the? <laughs> you don't get it, do you? This useless, pathetic world will gradually fester over time. Only its destruction can bring about its salvation. And then, at long last, I will rule over the new world. <laughs> I was so close. How did it come to this?
One time my father made a promise. He swore that he would atone for endangering our generation, even if it cost him his life. But I... I wanted him to live. I... I became a Persona user to protect him. 